and then we come to the rear the hock area right what we don't want to do here is take too much you stand there now using our small straight scissors now we pull our leg back make sure we comb this out here now we're going to trim down on the outside because what we don't want is anything sticking out okay so when you view the dog from the rear we want nice we want it to be nice and flat so if i just turn around and show you that so we're looking for this nice we've done all our hand stripping and we want it just to flow and be nice and flat okay so we don't want it sticking out here um, because when the dog's moving away it would look like it's bow legged so we're looking to get a nice parallel lines so trim that hock down into the foot bearing in mind we're, we're looking for we've, this is a dog of good bone and good substance we're not looking for to make it look flat or weak in bone we want the dog to look like it's got some substance so we're not taking it right down to the wood if the dog did have coarse bone or heavy bone, you could afford to take it that bit shorter. But if they're quite medium boned, you can just gently scissor over it, blending down into your foot with the straight scissors. If you're not confident with your straights, again, you can always just use your blender to soften those edges off. So I'm not trimming it right down close. We want it to look nice and natural. But we're looking to make it look very straight and neat, okay? It's not a wet, an area where you want to see weakness. So if you're cow hocked or tipping in, you have to accommodate that by scissoring it. So if your dog is leaning in on the hock joints, you might want to trim them a bit tighter here and leave some hair down here to try and correct it and straighten it up. So you have to bear in mind what your dog's anatomy is like when you're trimming them. You have to work with what you've got and do your best to correct any faults your dog might have to get the best finished results.